KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 14th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather still very mild, wet today. But the weather trends drier Thursday and then much colder next week. Winter fans, hang on. We'll start with the upper air look. We've got a broad southwest flow aloft here in a trough west of the state. And again, typically when you see that, it's wet. And North Alabama, yeah, wet to start the day. That was the radar at 456 this morning. Soaking rains falling over the Tennessee Valley. And all of that's gradually sinking to the south. Temperatures very mild this morning. That warm front well to the north of the state, Nashville, back in the warm air, they've got 62. But ooh, look at the cold air coming down into Montana, the Dakotas. About 20 below zero in spots up there, brutally cold. And uh, we're going to see a pattern change next week, and we'll turn sharply colder for much of next week. Watch warning map, winter weather issues back in the northwestern states, and a lot of fog over the central and southern states. All the areas in gray, those are dense fog advisories. And the darker green, that is a flood watch that is in effect. For much of north and central Alabama, north Georgia, parts of central Mississippi, for all this rain coming in today with saturated ground. And there is a marginal risk of severe storms today and tonight for parts of the deep south. About the northern half of Alabama, uh, north of US 80, areas in that darker green might see a few storms with gusty winds and hail. It's not a major threat. And then tomorrow, a marginal risk of severe storms north of the state, much of Tennessee, parts of Kentucky and some of the adjacent states. Then on day three, which is Thursday, no severe storms expected across the country. We'll be in a cooler, drier air mass here. This is the rain for the next seven days. The numbers are coming down here. Uh, rain amounts really about one half to one inch for much of the state. And a lot of that's going to be today. So let's look at modeling here. This is the GFS. This is the 06C run, three o'clock this afternoon, troughing in the west, ridging in the southeast. And Again, the weather's going to be wet and unsettled today, no, about, no doubt about that. This is the uh, high-res NAM at 9 o'clock this morning, showing that big uh, band of rain coming through here. Then by 5 o'clock, things look pretty quiet. And the question is, can more storms fire over the northern half of the state? Uh, they might, but uh, the instability values are not going to be that great. Yesterday, they looked pretty high today, but with this big batch of rain coming through this morning, there just won't be a lot of buoyancy and Again, not much dynamic forcing, but if storms do happen to pop over North Alabama, they could be strong, but again, that's not a major risk. This is tomorrow, and again, the day will be cloudy, mild, chance of showers, possibly some thunder, but it's not going to rain all day. And then Thursday, cooler, drier air moves in here. Much of the state will be dry, although rain could continue on the Gulf Coast. I would say highs dropping in the mid to upper 50s, sky becoming partly sunny. Friday, the moisture comes back. We'll bring back a chance of showers on Friday, especially Friday afternoon, but still cool. Highs around 57 to 60. Look at the icy mess on Friday, northwest of the state for parts of Missouri. And snow likely for places like Des Moines, Minneapolis, St. Paul, maybe Chicago. And then Saturday, that feature, uh, the surface low moves over toward Detroit with a trailing front, and that will bring a, a band of showers and storms in here, but... Uh, we don't expect any major severe weather threat this time. This is the instability, and unstable air tries to come back, but there's not much dynamic forcing, nothing like last Saturday. So it's conceivable there could be a strong storm, but at the moment we don't expect any severe weather. And then Sunday, a colder, drier air mass. Uh-huh, we could see highs in the upper 40s with the sky becoming partly sunny. That'll be a big change. And then Monday, that's a 1,050 millibar high coming down across the northern states. That'll be cold. Uh, North Alabama could stay in the 30s up around the Tennessee Valley, uh, maybe Birmingham mid-40s. And we'll start the day well down in the 20s. And this is Tuesday, trough moving off the Atlantic coast in a cold air mass. 
like the uh, uh, GFS deterministic, the Moss is showing 20 for Birmingham Tuesday morning. And that would drop many spots down in the teens. And the high would be in the 40s. Note over there in Texas, if you're in the Texas Hill Country, Austin, maybe up to Waco or Dallas, the snow fans getting excited there. But don't get too excited because the European shows nothing on Tuesday. But look at the anomalies. A lot of blues and greens and purples over the eastern half of the country. Much, much colder air next week. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 23rd, troughing to the west. That looks cool and dry, if this verifies. Check the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean, a little over 2 inches over the next 15 days. Yeah, national blend of models. Again, uh, highs in the 40s and lows below freezing. Some of the deterministic output colder than that. And this is the outlook for CPC from CPC for the 21st through the 27th. A lot of blues, temperatures below average. So cold weather fans, your time is almost here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.